the one thing the narcissist doesn't want you to know. The narcissist knows that they're no good. They know that they're no good for you. They know that they are not worthy or deserving of being desired or approved of. They know that they do not possess the desired qualities of the standard that you might desire or expect from them. They know that they are insufficient for a purpose. They know and accept all of this. They just don't want you to know about it. They always knew that they were not deserving of love. They knew that they were not deserving of being in your presence, being around you. They always knew this. This is why they created a false self. To be everything that they were not. A person who may be deserving of love and acceptance. A person who may be deserving of being around you. But it was never real. The false self was designed to trick you. And it was created from observing your likes and interests. Your ideals of what you might look for in a partner. It was never them. They were never about any of that. They created this false self, this false character to appeal to your own ideals. The false self may have showed behavior that is respectful and considerate of other people. They may have been appealing to look at. They may have had qualities or features which aroused your interest. But none of this had anything to do with them. It was bits and pieces that they had taken from other people who they deemed to be desirable or attractive. Whether it was people they know personally or something they had seen in a movie. They then attributed these qualities and features to themselves and acted as if they were their own. The false self is designed to put on a show of being real, but it is not real. Inside they feel completely dead and empty. They have nothing to give, nothing to offer you, other than the illusion of them being this desirable or attractive person. Which is really nothing more than bits and pieces that they have taken from other people who they deem to be desirable or attractive. And this isn't an isolated issue. This is becoming a global problem with the rise of social media and other media influences. They are not promoting individuality. They are not promoting for us to have qualities or characteristic traits that distinguish us from, from each other. Just look at the kind of influence that celebrities like Kim Kardashian are having on young girls. Before they even have the chance to develop and find their own identity or individuality. Everywhere they look, they are being bombarded with images of celebrities like Kim Kardashian. 
They are being programmed to dress a certain way and act a certain way before they even have the chance to find their own identity or individuality. When people are constantly subjected to these media influences from a young age, they have no identity or individuality. Because during their crucial stages of development, they were presented with these idealistic Im images that they were expected to conform to. They were expected to conform to these I idealistic images if they wish to be desired or accepted. So when they finally develop, the person who they once were, or the person that they were supposed to be, no longer exists. All you get is a copy, a combined dissection of different idealistic images. Bits and pieces of celebrities who they deem to be desirable or attractive. These large businesses prey on people's insecurities or their need to be desired and accepted. They understand human psychology. They understand the dysfunctionality of the world that we live in today. They understand that many of them were not loved by their parents and so they grow up looking for love in the opposite sex and they prey on their need to be desired and accepted. Now we live in a world where many people are nothing more than just clones of celebrities. They're all doing the same thing. They're all acting the same way. Very few of them actually have a mind of their own. Because they abandoned their true character and personality in the hopes that they would be desired and accepted. They created their false self because they are insecure. They are uncertain or un anxious about themselves. They are not confident. They hate themselves. They feel as though they could never be enough. They are ashamed of their foolish behavior. They created their false self so they could feel as though they belong. To feel as though they are more than what they really are. This is the one thing the, the narcissist doesn't want you to know. The narcissist doesn't want you to know that they're no good. They don't want you to know that they're no good for you. They try to hide it and act as though they are something that you might desire or something that might benefit you. But any time that they are reminded that the false self is not who they really are, the mask begins to slip. They begin to reflect on their insecurities and how they hate themselves and feel as though they could never be enough. And this is when you begin to see their dysfunctional behavior. Because it is a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. They can create a false self and exaggerate their own abilities and importance. But beneath that, they still feel as though they're not deserving of being around you. They feel as though they are not good enough for you. They cannot run from the truth of how they really feel about themselves. The false self is a desperate attempt for them 
to escape their true feelings of worthlessness and insignificance. When they engage in these dysfunctional behaviours, it's because they are reflecting their, their own true feelings of not being good enough for you. When you are in their presence, you don't see their negativity or dysfunction. You don't dwell on those things. The reason why you stuck around for so long is because as a positive, caring, loving person, you saw the good in them. You believe that maybe they are worthy and deserving to be desired or approved of. You believe that maybe they do have the, the required qualities of the standard that you might desire or expect from them. They couldn't see what you were seeing, but they liked how it made them feel. You validated their false self and it made them feel good. But deep down, they still knew that they were no good for you. They knew that they would never be able to establish anything of significant meaning or value with you. They knew that all they would be able to do with you in that situation is to exploit you. Making full use of what you have to offer and deriving benefit from you in a way that might be considered unfair or underhanded. Because they knew that once you find out, once you realise that they are no good for you, you are going to leave them. They know that there's nothing of significant meaning or value that will ever be established with you because they were never being real or genuine. If they were to be real or genuine with you, you would soon discover that they are not worthy or deserving of being desired or approved of. They do not possess the desired qualities of the standard that you might desire or expect from them. They are insufficient for the purpose that you might require. But if they can get you to believe it, if they can get you to believe that they are of the standard that you might desire or expect from them, then they can extract all of the amazing things that you have to offer to sustain them. Because the narcissist knows that they're no good for you, they are not going to be vulnerable. They are not going to expose themselves to the possibility of being harmed emotionally. They are not going to put themselves in a position where they are likely to feel rejected or humiliated. They are not going to take that risk. And that is why they remain in this endless cycle, never getting what they truly want or desire. They keep playing out the same patterns of behaviour from the same level of awareness that created them. Because it's too painful for them to deal with. It's too painful for them to go within and actually establish those qualities and find their true identity or individuality. It's much easier for them to repeat the same patterns of behaviours again and again. They can't spread jo joy, love, happiness or positivity because they don't have any to give. They can't give something they don't have. This is why it's so easy for them to spread pain and misery because that's all they have within them. And they knew from the beginning that they didn't have what you want. They didn't have what you were looking for. They just wanted to make you believe that they did to keep you around so they could extract what they needed to sustain them. Everything you were looking for, 
everything you needed was within you all along when you met them they altered their false self to reflect back who you are and what you're about all of the qualities that you were looking for in them were within you all along the love joy happiness and positivity it's within you and it always was thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at notfathercoaching at gmail.com check out the merchandise in the Narcsfather store where you can purchase your own Narcsfather t-shirt, tank top or mug the link is in the video description thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon